All right, this is going to be the part where we finish up uh, our our lower half blo block base out uh, to recap on where we are at with everything. Uh, just a reminder, we have, um, let's see, two pieces of booleans that are sculpted. There's one right here, and then the other piece would be uh, right over here. As you can see, I'm just going to keep those two off so there's a little confusion here. Now, uh, one thing I'd like to put, I'd like to put a little spike within there, or a little shard piece within there. So I'm not going to really save myself too much time on this. I'm just going to simply take an existing, existing Boolean sculptor and duplicate it across, duplicate the subtool down, and work with that as my shard piece save me some time so to do that I'm going to first of all make sure it's selected come down and hit duplicate and that gives me a new piece I'm just gonna hit the W key and move this across here and uh, basically it's gonna duplicate that boolean sculptor back into its original mesh form I want to make sure trim curve is selected and holding that down I'm just going to uh, like to turn all this stuff down I'm just going to go ahead and uh, yeah, I'm going to refinish this, refine this piece. So I'm just going to hold down Shift and Control and start holding left option pieces for my anchor points and where I want this curve to bend, like right there. And uh, then I'm just going to uh, simply sculpt off uh, more pieces from this to see if I can get uh, something that is eh, somewhat interesting of a shape. Somewhat of an interesting curvature. Hmm. For me, that's actually getting already closer to uh, what I'd like to see. Maybe do some refinement with the move tool. too crazy or too special here. And again, I'm just going to once more, I like to thin this out just a little bit more, a little bit. Uh, piece right here and uh, turn this back on. Make sure my booleans are reinitialized. Uh, and then I'm gonna move this one above here. Now if you're, and I'm just going to bring this like right into the piece again. And uh, to help myself, I'm just going to use the tools of the gizmo to uh, sort of help me out on this as well. If you're feeling like, oh, it's too shallow, remember that's the beauty of working with Booleans. You can still adjust these at any point. I haven't made any uh, sort of a mesh or anything yet, so I'm just rotating around to sort of accommodate the uh, the mesh here that I'm creating. I I can even make more adjustments. Maybe I don't like uh, this going so far up, so I'll just cut the boolean across and uh, get myself a nice little uh, piece right there. Maybe I don't like that angle. Maybe I don't want to worry too much about that angle. I, that's the beauty again of this whole block out phase. Uh, we can just uh, continue to recustomize the boolean any way we want. The only thing you got to remember is, is whatever you do on the right side you can do on the left side. So it's not a big deal. Since I did do that uh, change I'm just going to delete out the other side boolean here. And uh, Finally, I'm just going to bring in a little bit more Of 
we keep in mind if there is any uh, sort of meshes that uh, this is up against, I should always do cut, uh, any kind of cut through its transparent mode, just to keep things a little bit more safe and sound. Again, if things are not looking your way, there's, like I say, mimicry comes second to uh, grasping the concept of what, of, uh, what you want uh, sculpted. So keep that all in mind, as always. And when using the mush, the push, the move tool, uh, if you're pushing things inward away from you, like on a Z axis, I'm just using uh, holding the left alt and option key down to uh, get those results, which are kind of hel very helpful uh, instead of actually just trying to move the camera over and then move it this way. Kind of saves on some uh, areas here. So, having said that. Just going to move now on. Uh, going to refinagle with that a little bit, but uh, that's about where I would like it. And uh, remember, just make sure to duplicate and bring it over to the other side uh, by simply hitting the mirror key, and it's over there. And uh, make sure you're duplicating your Boolean piece as well. Make sure that. You Make sure that goes over to the other side by once again going back down to deformation and hitting the mirror key so that we have everything still put into place right here. And once again, uh, like I said, take your time with this piece. Uh, if there's anything that you don't like or you want to see changed, I may go back and do some changes myself. I kind of like this curvature a little bit more, but don't like how it sharpens and tapers off like that. So I'll be doing a little bit of uh, re-exercising uh, some of these pieces here. So having said that, uh, that concludes the lower part here that uh, we'll want to get through. And uh, if you stick with us, we're going to just do a little bit quick uh, finagling on getting some upper area of this uh, taken care of. So stick with us.